so I don't even know what I'm going to talk about today. I I should have lots of things to talk about. I haven't talked about anything substantive on here in months. Mostly because I'm kind of having some issues with depression. And I probably wouldn't be admitting this to the internet writ large if it wasn't that I haven't been up that long. It's also been very frustrating because I can't really get into my studio to work as much as I want to because it's kind of ridiculously uncomfortable in here. It's not comfortable in the summer. Even with the, the fan things you hear going on in the background, it's not really. So, I'm Tree. I am disheveled and barely awake, and this is Project Transparency. I mean, I, I'm still really annoyed about uh, having to take down the sad murder clown, which is the 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 murder Pagliacci Pagliaccio from the opera Pagliacci, and yeah, he's a little bit on the gruesome end, but it's like cartoon gruesome, so it's like Tom and Jerry or Daffy Duck. It, it, it's it's. Not something that is going to generally scare kids, which is what was claimed some parent had a thing about. Honestly, I think it has more to do with the fact that it kind of indicts violence against women because Pagliacci, the Pagliaccio, because I can't remember the character's name, honestly, I'm sorry, um, killed his wife in a murderous rage. And it also has this... Here, let me just show you, in case you don't remember. Okay, there is Pagliacci. We are indicted as the audience. We, we are the victim of Pagliacci's rage. And you know what? The, the intense white face was intentional. It, it's supposed to be, you know, violence in all forms. It's supposed to be... It's supposed to, you know, invoke the Ku Klux Klan because I am that person. I don't make comfortable art. I honestly think life, the universe, and everything would be easier if I did make comfortable art. If I didn't make things that... <sighs> that confronted people and that you had to think about and that are open to your own interpretation. You know, Artists, okay, we talk about the death of the author a lot. Roland Barthes talks about this. Was it Roland Barthes? I think it was. We talk about the death of the author a lot when it comes to literature, when it comes to um, a lot of things. Actually, I've been getting annoyed with fandom recently because, yes, while I do agree that <laughs> when we're, we're dealing with problematic problematic representation or storylines or whatever when it comes to our media, be it TV or books or whatever, we are dealing with the the choices made by an author. But they're also forgetting that, that an author is a product of their culture, they are a mirror as much as anything else, that sometimes, and I, I've seen people throw this throw this fit too. Sometimes you don't have control of your story. And I know that sounds weird, but our authors sometimes don't. I mean, Charles Brockton Brown either is a mad genius or has no control of his story and you're never quite sure which it is. I lean towards a healthy dose of both, honestly. But sometimes characters do what you don't want them to do because the story demands it. It sounds like a cop-out and it kind of is. But it's also not, too, and people who write understand that and you work to correct it, but sometimes you can't. It's very complicated. <laughs> the psychology of writing is very complicated. And the same is true with art. You're, you're dealing with people who are products of their culture, who are aware that they are pushing these buttons, and sometimes choose to and sometimes not to, but more often than not, artists choose to because 
even when we're not confrontational people, we are confrontational people. <sighs> that really got off of where I meant it to be. But yeah, death of the author, death of the artist, it's this thing in um, reader response theory where basically the audience's interpretation is just as important, if not potentially more important, than the creator's. And there's nothing wrong with that. My references are not necessarily going to be anybody else's references, especially since I watch such watch and read such a weird dearth of things. I, I have like 20 different tumblers because I don't want to spam any one thing with one obsession. And I'm slightly ob obsessively organizing in really weird ways. So yeah, I'm still miffed about <laughs> the sad burger clown. Evidently, extremely, completely. And I had a late acceptance to uh, Shawano County's Miles of Art in October. And, you know, it seemed like a really good idea. I mean, mind you, the hundred bucks was pissing me off. But, you know, if you don't know this, if you're, if you're not a writer, if you're not an artist, when you enter the competitions, when you enter the enter into shows and things, there's usually a non-refundable fee. If it's a really large fee, like Art Artie Gras and Art Street and Green Bay are like $375, it's usually not payable until you've been accepted, but a lot of things it's you, you pay up front, just like poets and writers have to, in case y'all didn't know. There is a reason why we're all extremely poor, it's because we have to pay all these entrance fees. That's, that's been the nice, that's the nice thing about Emily DePere is that you don't have to. It's one of the reasons why I keep doing it. Because I don't technically lose money on it, except in driving to it. But yes, Miles of Art. Okay, it's a really bad ADHD day. I'm just like cycling through things and I'm really sorry if none of this makes sense today. But I'm really excited about Models of Art because, you know, I was like, okay, so people coming to my studio, people seeing the thing, it'll be exciting. Okay, I need to clean my studio, so panic and reorganize, and panic and more panic and more panic, and then I find out that I'm actually going to be at somebody else's gallery, which is fine. It is. It would have been nice if I would have been told that up front and they hadn't been being passive aggressive at me when I asked to confirm because they didn't give me the information that I needed and they're still being passive aggressive at me because I need to know how much stuff I need to bring, how much space I need to fill, you know, and a myriad of other things and it's like, dude, you didn't give me the information. It's not my fault. So I'm dealing with that frustration, which is making me extremely short-tempered, because I'm always short, and just, yeah. About the only thing I've been doing at all, or well, or consistently, is doing like minimalist, abstract, geometric, digital pieces of characters from Steven's, Steven Universe, because I'm slightly obsessed with Steven Universe currently, and making really bad, dumb typography things like high quality duct tape because I think it's funny. And nobody else thinks I'm funny. I mean, seriously. Y'all have been dealing with me for how long now? Am I remotely funny? I don't think so. Gnome thinks I'm funny. Gnome lies. Gnome is such a liar. And, you know, it, it, and a long time ago I talked about getting this thing to, like, put my work up on Hello, Hello Sunday, which is new, so if you Google Hello Sunday, you're actually going to come up with this bar in Australia. But it's like Society6, but international, it's like European. And I'm not even kidding you that every single problem Society6 has with its uploading, Hello Sunday has. 
And it's really frustrating, especially that it wants JPEG when every artist I know does everything in Ping and because, you know, transparency. And that unlike Society6 or Redbubble, which Redbubble, its upload system is just, okay, it's a little frustrating at times, but it works. It makes sense. It's like if you upload one really, really, really big picture, you can take care of everything else, which is not true with Society6 or Hello Sunday, and that's really frustrating. And yet, and it's like the, the person who runs Hello Sunday is like, oh, well, send us your images and we can resize them for you. And it's like, no, have you not met, have you not met most artists? We're kind of control freaks. Because we want things to be a particular way and to appear a particular way. But yes, uh, see, that tangent again. But they, they want you to like, it's refundable and they will refund it within a week. You know, that's money to set up your PayPal account and maybe that's a European thing. I don't know. But it's money that I don't just have sitting around because of dumb things that have been going on, and, yeah, my life is one big ball of really stressful stuff right now, and has been for months, months I tell you, and it's, it, it's not like I'm doing anything except the arting, but it's being really stressful right now, and Gnome is going to be the chair of their department, and they are stressed, and, <laughs> So yeah, that, that, that was the let me dump all the things that are going wrong and weird and just annoying in my life onto the internet. Sorry about that. I guess part of being a, a, a project about transparency and art making means that you're going to get the emotional, emotive dumps too, and I'm, I'm, I'm sorry about that. Sometimes it just happens. But I have the last Definitely to Peer of the season coming up this week, so y'all can find me at Van Drossi. I'll put the thing there. Um, Chiropractor. It's Caddy Corner from La Vie Bohème, where I was a couple, three, uh, Definitely to Peers ago. I don't know if I'm going to be inside or outside. I need to email them about that. I have a feeling I'm going to be inside because they, they fully face the setting sun and this happens from 5 to 8 at night. So that's really not what I want to be outside doing. Not really. And yeah, that's what I got. I have, I am still revamping my commissions thing. If there are things you want available in commissions, let me know in the comments in the drawer. Or not in the drawer. Let me know in the comments because I'm still trying to figure it out because there is no consistency to how anybody sets up their commissions when it comes to doing little bits and bobs and not huge pieces. It's like that I can do. It's like big commissions for things like book covers and stuff I can figure out but this you know oh I would like a chibi fan art of Castiel I have no freaking clue so yes if you have suggestions or anything leave it in the comments um, I will be I, I mean I still have the old commissions page up so if that anything in there strikes your fancy go for it and I have a bunch of stuff up on Redbubble, which there's a link in the drawer. And I am in desperate need of money, so poor church mice begs for, for, for commissions and buying things off my Redbubble. Because I don't like to beg for money, but I figure if I can give you something in return, then it's an exchange of goods and services. I guess that economics class stuck. All right. I am going to go sit somewhere and finish waking up and have things that wake you up and obsess about life, the universe, and everything. Goodbye.